on this computer. All right, so this is the factor label method. It's a method of conversions. These are some example conversions. Another example of a conversion is 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. So what we wanna do is we want to be able to convert from one unit or one value into other values. So to do that, I'm gonna show you how we use the factor label method to do that. Let's say we start with 15 meters and we wanna see how many inches that is. So 15 meters into inches. To do this, we need a couple conversion factors. We need to know how many feet are in a meter. So we know that one meter has 3.281 feet in it and one foot has 12 inches in it. Those are our conversion factors. We always set it up with our original as a fraction, right? 15 meters over one. And now what we wanna do is we wanna cancel out units. So we say, okay, we start with meters, we wanna to get to inches. So meters have to go in the denominator. That way our meters are gonna cancel out. A meter divided by a meter cancels out. And that gives me, my, and then I put my ratio in here, 3.281 feet equal one meter. Now I'm left with feet. I wanna get it into inches. So I do another division, get rid of feet, and I have 12 inches. Now I'm gonna take everything on the top and multiply it together and divide by everything on the bottom. So essentially my answer is gonna be 15 times 3.281 times 12. I put that in my calculator. The answer then, I'm going to do this in pink, is 590.58 inches. And that's not pink, that's maybe lavender. So let's go up here, we'll try another one. This is all we're going to do this whole period. We will go from, let's try age, we'll go 45 years. How many seconds is that? So again, we need our conversion factors. One year has 365.25 days. One day is 24 hours. And one hour, 3,600 seconds. We start with 45, that's where we wanna start. 45 years, make that a little big. Let's hope I can fit all this. Then we just cancel out units. One year, 365.25 days, years cancel. One day, 24 hours, days cancel. One hour, 3,600 seconds. So we take 45 times 365.25, times 24 times 3600. Let's see if I can get this one right this time, 45. I got 1.42 times 10 to the ninth seconds. Oh boy. Pen went crazy. One point four two times ten to the ninth seconds, or one hundred or one point four two billion seconds. So that's a long time to be alive if you look at it from that point of view. Did I get that one correct? Anybody, just, I can't see if you put a thumbs up. I can only see the whiteboard. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm correct on this, but I got 1.59 oh, to boy. the ninth. 
I'm totally going to throw this away. 45. I got 1.42 times 10 to the ninth again. Anybody get what I got? Yeah, I got 1.42. Uh, nice. I think it's right. I'm going to circle it. I'm going to get a formal and circle this. Yeah, I got that answer too. All right, we got that one right. Now I'm going to give you guys one to try on your own. Let's go with five hundred yards. How many millimeters? So one yard is three feet. One foot is oops, I'm sorry, that's not what I want. One meter is 3.281 feet and one meter is 1,000 millimeters. Try this one at your seats. I'll give you a minute or two. I'll pause the, pause the uh, video. Let's see how we did. So we start with 500 yards and we're gonna change that into millimeters. So one yard, three feet, yards cancel. We have 3.281 feet is one meter. And then one meter is a thousand millimeters. So feet cancel, meters cancel. So we have 500 times three, times a thousand over 3.281. I got 4.57 times 10 to the fifth millimeters. So for a test or a quiz or anything like that where we have to show our work, uh, do you always want it expressed in scientific notation or do you want it just like with a certain amount of significant digits? That's a good question. I just really want it the correct answer. It doesn't matter to me. I won't, you won't lose points if you do it in scientific notation or if you do it longhand, you know what I mean? How are we doing this problem everybody? Pretty good? Anybody need anything clarified there? All right, let's try another one. This one will be a little trickier. This is something we're gonna do a lot. We'll say, okay, we have 90 kilometers per hour. How many meters per second? This is a conversion we'll do all the time in class. 90 kilometers per hour into meters per second. So we'll write out our conversion factors. Always gotta write those or I mean, you don't have to actually formally write them out, but I am because you guys probably don't have them in front of you. One kilometer has a thousand meters in it. One hour has 3,600 seconds. So we start with 90 and this time we have kilometers over hours. So we have to do the top and the bottom. So we'll start with the top one kilometers. So one kilometer has 1,000 meters in it. And I apologize the sloppiness, this pen is Hopefully I'm going to be improving this soon, but it won't be for a week or two. And then we got to get rid of the hours too. So we got to put our hours up top here and our seconds on the bottom. Hours cancel. So this gives us 90 times 1,000 over 3,600. And we're left with meters per second. Twenty five meters per second in our calculator. All right, so let's do you want a hard one, huh? Let's 
see what you're made of. Per hundred newtons per centimeter squared into PSI. We went over this kind of stuff today in class. Let's show you a good challenge. Good. So one pound, that says PSI, it's pretty, pretty stinking sloppy. Is EET online? I mean, um, EET. The first seven weeks are in shop, and then the next, like the rest of the course is online. Okay. It's a four. That's four, is I just want to connect. Four, four, eight newtons. One pound is four, four, eight newtons. And one, uh, there's two, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. That's a four. And look, look, those are your conversions. See if you can do this one. It's a little trickier. Here we go. Let me show you how this is done. It's a little trickier, like I said. Let's see if you got it. We'll do it in black. 300 newtons or brown. Over centimeters squared. Let's do the newtons first. That's easy. 4.448. Holy stupid fours. 448 newtons. One pound. So the newtons cancel. We're left with pounds. And then we have 2.54 centimeters in one inch. We have centimeters squared here. So what we have to do is we have to square this. So you have 300 times 2.54 squared over 4.448. Oh no, I screwed that up. Four hundred thirty-five point one three. 